Okay, now in the previous video, I had demonstrated how to get all of the URLs using the Internet Explorer.application object of any given web page. Now, in this video, what I'm going to show is how to click a hyperlink on a web page using the Internet Explorer object control. So, to get started, I'm going to first create another button here. I'm going to go into design mode, right click my current shape. All I'm going to do is just copy it and just move it over, put in a new one. And I'm just going to edit the text. And I'll just call this click URL. And what I'm going to do is go to this the awol.com website. I know there's this. I need to look at the hyperlinks really quick. I'll, what I'm going to do just for the sake of this video is click the sign up hyper hyperlink. So I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to go to my macros. I had already created this one in the previous video. Get all links. I'm going to click edit, and I'm just going to use the same code but I'm going to create a new procedure for it. I'm going to call this uh, sub click sign up URL. Open parentheses, uh, open parentheses and then close. And then I'm just going to paste the code. I'm going to remove where I had set up sheet one dot list box one dot add item. And I'm going to remove the code that dealt with the sheet one dot list box one dot clear because we're not going to need any of that. The only thing that we're going to do here is still go through all of the hyperlinks and look for the one that says sign up. I believe that's what it said. I already, it already crossed my mind. Give me a second here. Yeah, sign up. Okay. So I'm going to remove that comment. And just to recap from the previous video, all we do is we create the Internet Explorer object. We navigate to the URL name. In this case, URL name is sheet1.range e4, which back on our worksheet, that's e4, aol.com. And we, we wait until the ready state is equal to 4, which means the page is completely loaded. We get all of the elements by the tag name a, and we assign it to, the, to all hyperlinks variable. And then we just create a for loop that's going to go through every single hyperlink. So here's going to be the next additional step. We're going to put an if statement, a condition, inside the for statement. And all we're going to do is we're going to put if the hyperlink dot enter text is equal to sign up, then, and we've got to do closing the, the if statement. And in the previous video, I explained that enter text is going to be the actual value or the caption of the hyperlink. And so if it if for any reason it is present, what we're going to do is we're going to click the very first one, hyperlink dot click. And then we're going to exit the for statement. And then we'll just put message box process completed. Let's go on and try running this code. And what I'm going to do is just assign the macro, right click this, assign macro, and we're going to assign click sign up URL. And let's try this out. Okay, as we can see, the sign up page automatically loaded. And if we go back to Excel, it does tell us that the process was completed. Now, if for any reason I had changed it, if I was to change this, to google.com do click URL we know that on the Google Google page there is no kind of sign up hyperlink but it'll still tell us that the process was completed but the the actual macro didn't do any kind of action because it didn't find that hyperlink so anyway if you want that code again um, right now would be your opportunity to press pause on your screen so you can copy this code I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching